So sleep is critically important as well. But, but sleep is just one type of rest. And really what we want to do is we want to provide the body with rest, right? How many of you know the serenity prayer? Alcoholics? No? Um, Alcoholics Anonymous adopted it a long time ago, so every alcoholic knows the serenity prayer. The serenity prayer says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It's brilliant, okay, if you think about it for just a second, okay? How much time have you spent, have you wasted, worrying about things you have no control over? Okay, remember Chicken Little? The sky's falling? Okay, what are you going to do about it? I don't know about you, I'm gonna just relax and enjoy the rest of my life, however long it's gonna be, because I can't do anything about the sky falling. Okay, I can't do anything about a massive earthquake that might be coming today, you know, if that happens. Who knows? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on what I can control and what I have some impact over. So can you determine what time you fall asleep? Is that something you get to control? Not directly, it's not. What do you control? The conditions, are you in bed with the lights off, okay, lying down comfortably? Do you have the right amount of covers, right? Because if you're too hot or too cold, you're not going to sleep as well, okay? You know, have you done whatever you can do about the noise? So it was, my, it was actually my first time in Amsterdam speaking around 20 years ago. I stayed at the apartment of the organizers of the event, and their windows overlooked a nightclub, which, got, which closed at three o'clock in the morning or something. And you know, in the middle of the night, all of a sudden there's all these, I mean, they're all night long there's people coming and going, but then at three o'clock in the morning, all these drunks pile out into the street and everyone's yelling, et cetera. And like, I, I thought to myself, how can they live here? Now you get used to that, but the fact that you're used to it, your, your body no longer says, hey, wake up, there's a problem, doesn't mean you're sleeping as restfully. Ideally, we want to be sleeping in places that are relatively quiet, where the only noises are the sounds of nature. How many of you find that the sounds of nature don't disturb you? I do. I mean, if, you know, if all of a sudden there's like a huge thunder, it might wake me up, right? Lightning storm. But the, I sleep through the rain every night when it rains. It doesn't wake me up, okay? The, the frogs and the insects, you know, the, the crickets, those sounds don't wake me up. But if someone drives by on their motorcycle late at night with, you know, with their, all the baffles removed from their uh, exhaust pipes, that's going to wake me up. Okay? If someone's leaning on their horn or playing music real loud, that might wake me up. It's those kinds of sounds which affect us. So while that, you, you might be able to put some earplugs in your ears to help you with that noise if you can't control it, but you know, the long-term solution there is just to go live someplace where you don't have that issue all the time. Right, if it's a con like for me, living in a city, that's not likely to happen again. I've done that, I'm not interested in doing that anymore. Um, I've now spent 21 and a half years living in the forest and have trouble. I mean, when I go to the city, it's a little rough. I, the last time I was in Amsterdam, I, I can't remember the name of the hotel, but it was a hotel right on the park, Mondo Park, or close to it. Uh, the owner could tell you, you know, and I, out my window was just nature. That wasn't too bad, okay? But being in the middle of the city, that's tough. I always ask for the highest floor possible so you don't hear the street noise so much. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough when you're not used to it. Anyway, um, so worry about the things you can control, right? Important to understand while you're fasting, your sleep is likely to be affected. Your sleep is likely to be affected. Most of you aren't going to sleep as well as you normally do. Some of you will. Some, some people are going to sleep, you know, 10, 12 hours. Who here slept 10 hours every night? Yeah, it happens sometimes. Um, raise your hand again so that you know who to hate, everyone else. <laughs> um, you know, this, some people can, can do that. that. Most people, though, you're going to have trouble sleeping. And one of the reasons why is because when it gets dark, our hormonal cycles shift, our body moves into a restful state, liberating energy for your body to use to cleanse and heal. And so if you've noticed, you know, even throughout your life, if you had a cold or a flu, the symptoms are usually worse at night than during the day. During the day, you might feel fine. It starts to get dark, symptoms come back, okay? That's gonna happen while you're fasting. Because you're resting all day, hopefully, um, as you should be, you're gonna need less sleep, okay? 
So many of you are only going to need four or five, six hours of sleep. That's perfectly fine. What you need to do is give your body the darkness that it requires. Okay? So if you're coming to our, to the meditations, I hope you, you are. And if you're not, I hope you will. Um, well, you know, when we're done here, or movie nights, which might be a little later sometimes, at 8.30 or so, go on back, do what you need to do, turn off your lights, and, and go, go lay down. If you don't fall asleep right away, that's perfectly fine. Just rest in the dark. Now, I know for some people this is the hardest thing in the world. Why do you think it's so hard for people to do that, to just rest in the dark? All the thoughts and suppressed emotions start coming to the surface. Okay? One of the most empowered things you can do for yourself is to be willing to feel those emotions. So it's perfectly fine. Now, one of the things I do, I usually don't have any trouble sleeping. But if I do, I'll lay in bed and meditate lying in bed. And if I'm tired but you know, have an overactive mind, I'll go right out. Okay? But, but understand that you know, if you're not getting as many hours of sleep as usual, that's okay. Uh, understand, too, that most of you are going to have to wake up to pee much more than usual while you're fasting. Okay? That's normal. Again, you're going to have, uh, as you're hydrating old material in your digestive tract, the mass of that stuff when you lay down is going to be pressing on your bladder, and you're going to have to wake up to pee. So don't worry about that. It's perfectly fine. Don't worry about getting enough sleep. Tomorrow, all you have to do is rest and sip water. How much energy does that take? Okay, that's all you need to do. All right?